In this video, we will learn about the atomic structure of elements in the periodic table, having atomic numbers from 1 to 10. Hydrogen is the very first element in the periodic table. Hydrogen atom has one electron and one proton and no neutron. One proton means one atomic number. One proton and no neutron mean one atomic mass. Hydrogen is represented as H, 1, 1, to represent its symbol, its atomic number, and atomic mass. Hydrogen's shell can gain one more electron to make its shell full or complete. Or, lose one electron in reaction, to become a stable atom, without an electron. This makes hydrogen a fairly reactive element. Helium is the second element in the periodic table. It has two protons, two neutrons, and two electrons. Two proton means, its atomic number is two. Two protons and two neutrons mean, its atomic mass is four. Both the electrons are in the inner, the only shell. Only a maximum of two electrons can be in this shell. This makes helium atom one of the most stable elements, as it does not need to gain or lose any electron to make its shell complete. Lithium is the third element in the periodic table. Lithium atom has three protons, four neutrons, and three electrons. Three proton means, its atomic number is three. Three protons and four neutrons mean, its atomic mass is seven. Two electrons are in the inner shell, and one electron is in the outer shell. The outer shell can accommodate eight electrons in total to make the shell complete or stable. Lithium always tries to get rid of the outer electron and make itself stable. If it got rid of the outer electron, it will only have the inner shell with two electrons making it stable. Its willingness to lose the outer electron is what makes lithium a very reactive element. Beryllium is the fourth element in the periodic table. Beryllium atom has four protons, five neutrons, and four electrons. 4 proton means its atomic number is 4. 4 protons and 5 neutrons mean its atomic mass is 9. 2 electrons are in the inner shell and 2 electrons are in the outer shell. In theory, the outer shell can further gain 6 electrons or lose 2 electrons to make it a stable atom. Beryllium atom tends to lose the two electrons from its outer shell during the reaction and become stable. If it got rid of the outer electron, it will only have the inner shell with two electrons making it stable. This tendency makes it only a mild reactive metal. Boron is the fifth element in the periodic table. Boron atom has five protons, six neutrons, and five electrons. Five proton means, its atomic number is five. Five protons, and six neutrons mean, its atomic mass is 11. Two electrons are in the inner shell, and three electrons are in the outer shell. In theory, the outer shell needs five more electrons, or lose three electrons to make it complete. Boron tends to lose its outer three electrons during the reaction to make it stable. If it got rid of the outer electron, 
it will only have the inner shell with two electrons making it stable. This tendency makes boron a fairly inert element. Carbon is the sixth element in the periodic table. The carbon atom has six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. Six proton means its atomic number is six. Six protons and six neutrons mean its atomic mass is 12. Two electrons are in the inner shell and four electrons are in the outer shell. The outer shell needs four more electrons to make the shell complete. Or lose four electrons to become an atom with only one shell and two electrons. Either losing or gaining electrons will make the atom stable, which in other words is called reaction. Carbon is a weakly reactive element. Nitrogen is the seventh element in the periodic table. The nitrogen atom has seven protons, seven neutrons, and seven electrons. Seven proton means its atomic number is seven. Seven protons and seven neutrons mean its atomic mass is 14. Two electrons are in the inner shell and five electrons are in the outer shell. The outer shell needs three more electrons to make the shell complete. Or lose five electrons to become an atom with only one shell and two electrons. Either losing or gaining electrons will make the atom stable, which in other words is called reaction. Nitrogen is a fairly inert gas. Oxygen is the eighth element in the periodic table. The oxygen atom has eight protons, eight neutrons, and eight electrons. Eight protons means its atomic number is eight. Eight protons and eight neutrons mean its atomic mass is 16. Two electrons are in the inner shell and six electrons are in the outer shell. The outer shell needs two more electrons to make the shell complete. Or lose six electrons to become an atom with only one shell and two electrons. Either losing or gaining electrons will make the atom stable, which in other words is called reaction. Oxygen is quite reactive gas. Fluorine is the ninth element in the periodic table. The fluorine atom has nine protons, ten neutrons, and nine electrons. Nine protons mean its atomic number is nine. Nine protons and ten neutrons mean its atomic mass is 19. Two electrons are in the inner shell and seven electrons are in the outer shell. The outer shell needs one more electron to make the shell complete. Or lose seven electrons to become an atom with only one shell and two electrons. 
either losing or gaining electrons will make the atom stable, which in other words is called reaction. Fluorine is very reactive gas. Neon is the tenth element in the periodic table. The neon atom has 10 protons, 10 neutrons, and 10 electrons. Ten protons mean its atomic number is ten. Ten protons and ten neutrons mean its atomic mass is twenty. Two electrons are in the inner shell and eight electrons are in the outer shell. The inner shell and outer shell both are full, with the maximum number of electrons they need. So neon atom is already in a stable state. It does not want to participate in any reaction, as it does not want to lose or gain any electron at all. That is why neon is an inert gas. That concludes today's video.